Examine the fetal head to assess position. The posterior fontanelle is on the model's right at 9 o'clock, making this ROT. Feel 3 cm anterior to the posterior fontanelle on the sagittal suture. This is the flexion point. With the knowledge of the length of your middle finger, you can calculate the distance from the flexion point to the perineum by noting where the posterior fourchette comes into contact with the examining fingers when the tip of the middle finger is at the flexion point. Using the kiwi cup, 6 cm is marked on the suction tubing as demonstrated. By using this 6 cm point, 4 cm can also be identified on the suction tubing. During a rotational ventouse, use the indentation on the cup as a marker. Place the cup so that the indentation is parallel with the sagittal suture and facing towards the posterior fontanelle. Use your non-dominant hand to part the labia. Insert the cup. Place the cup over the flexion point. You will see that the correct placement of the cup will correspond to the 4 cm mark on the suction tubing as demonstrated by the operator's left hand. The cup has been placed on the flexion point as the marking correlates with the insertion distance. Use the palm pump handle to cause the vacuum. Pump up to the margin between the green and red margins. Check that there are no maternal tissues caught underneath the cup. Place your thumb on the cup and index finger on the fetal head in order to prevent the cup from coming off and to provide counter traction. With a contraction, gently pull perpendicular to the cup. As you pull, you will notice that the angle of traction will change as the baby's head rotates. Support the perineum and perform an episiotomy when crowning. Deliver the fetal head, release the vacuum by pressing the vacuum release button on the palm side of the pump opposite the vacuum gauge. Finish by delivering the baby. The same technique can be applied to a fetus in an OP position.